guys, so today I'm going to be filming a haul for you. This is a number of items that I've been accumulating for about over a month now. And if you're interested, just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with products that are non-clothing and just like makeup or jewelry or stuff like that. So I made a recent trip to Sephora and I was eyeing this trio pack of the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars. Um, it comes with Clockwork, Hush, Memento, and then a lip brush. Um, I just tried this out recently and I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, it has a number of things that I... I I'm not a fan of like the minty taste. Um, it's a little bit um, not sticky, but it has that cut type of consistency to it. Um, and it's kind of drying, so when I use this, I have to use my Baby Lips um, lip balm below this to keep it moisturized. Um, I wouldn't say it's that much long lasting. I feel like it um, cracks my lips throughout the day so I don't know I think I'm just gonna give it a little bit more of a try and try some different combos with this all these lip products um, but the colors are amazing I love them they're very very pigmented um, you can mix these colors together to get um, a number of different type of shades and it's these colors are just perfect um, I just don't know if it was worth the $36 to me um, but considering the fact that they're $18 each, coming in a trio like this with um, full-size containers um, is a steal, but um, I'm just not sure if I really love it or not yet. Also, when I went over to Sephora, um, I was looking for a certain type of product um, that I've seen in a number of other Beauty Gurus videos, which is um, the Travel O, the little container to where you... Um, pump your perfume in and then you can take it on the go and I was so excited to find this little thingy um, it is exactly like a travel lobe I think this is a little bit smaller and contains um, a lower amount of sprays but it looks like this and it is amazing and I can't believe that I found it I'm so happy and I'll do a little demo for you guys alright so, so when you open this right here at the top, you have the nozzle, and then at the bottom, you just twist it off, and it's going to look like this. It's going to have a hole, and don't pour it over if you already have liquid in there, because then it will, um, it will fall out. So what you do is you take your favorite perfume, mine's Ed Hardy Love Kills Slowly, obvious. Lee, I've always mentioned that in my videos, and all you do is you um, aim the nozzle into the little hole, <laughs> and then you just squirt, and then I barely have perfume left, and then you twist off the cap, twist back on the cap, and then there you go, it's so cute, and it fits, it's perfect, for traveling and just throwing in your purse and having it. Um, I usually purchase the little, um, the travel size Ed Hardy perfumes, which is about $12 each, and I buy a lot of those, which I think is a total waste of money, just because I don't want to carry the big whole um, container into my purse. So having this and just having a one-time purchase of, I believe, $15 is an amazing, um, it's totally worth um, the money if you're like me and you just like want to keep on purchasing the little travel size perfumes. Okay, um, I also picked up the Tattoo Concealer by um, Kat Von D. The, okay, so these products have been out forever, and I know that, but um, I'm the type of person where I have to think about whether it's worth the money or not. And I usually like concealers with a cream consistency. Um, yes, but then I ventured out of my comfort zone, and I went on and purchased the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer in... Locket Tattoo Concealer 24... Oh, Medium 24... Um, and I'm really, really happy with this. Recently, I've been having really dark under eye circles. I know you can probably tell. Um, I have had, you know, trouble sleeping and stuff. But this, um, I don't like to pack on the concealer just because I don't like it to crease. But if, if I put um, a dot on each um, under eyes and then I just blend it out with my e.l.f. St small stipple brush, it covers a lot. 
a lot, a lot. It's amazing. I love it. And I'm not going for a full coverage type of thing. I mean, this is definitely a buildable to where you... It could be perfect underneath the eye, but I just like a little bit of concealer, not too much. But again, this is amazing and I love it. Definite Kat Von D fan. Um, um, when I went to Sephora, I also repurchased a couple of products. One is the Bene Infamous, um, the Real Mascara by Benefit. I love this mascara. I would say this is my all-time favorite right now. I've just because of the brush and how it lengthens your eyelashes and it's buildable um, because I like comfy eyelashes so I don't know it's amazing and I love it and another thing that I repurchased is the Anastasia Browers in Ebony I go through through these a lot and um, what disappoints me is that it's about $24 or so and the amount of pencil that they give you is about this big which is I hate it it's not I don't know if that's worth the money, but this is so amazing. I'm trying to find uh, maybe a drugstore dupe to this um, eyebrow pencil, but um, so far this is my staple item and I love this. Not too long ago, I also purchased um, a couple items off the Coastal Scents website. Um, I was eyeing the 254 palette, oh sorry, 252 Ultimate Palette by Coastal Scents and it was about $25 and I was going to purchase it for um, like any type of clients or like friends that I have that I'm going to do their makeup because there's a whole lot of shades with this and I ended up just, I don't know, I've kind of been using it for myself recently instead of other people but um, yeah, I just love the colors on here because now I don't have to purchase any type of other sh eyeshadow, like everything is in here. It has anywhere from cool tone eyeshadows to warm tone to neutrals. Um, I'll just show you a quick view of all of them. So on this we have some whites, browns, pinks, yellows, and reds and all of that on this, whatever it's called, palette. And then on this palette you have an assorted amount of colors um, from yellow browns, purples, pinkish colors to peaches, greens, um, browns, yellows, pinks, purples, blues, and any dark colors at the bottom. Um, I love the browns. I, I cannot, I'm more of a, a neutral eyed look kind of person and I love using, um, I don't know how many types of shades of brown that you can have, but I don't know. I just love the variety on here. It's amazing. And I've actually tried to venture out into trying to use any of the um, colors like greens, purples, and blues. I wouldn't necessarily use that on myself, maybe on other people, but they are very, very, very pigmented. And they actually stick on your eye unlike any other eyeshadow, which is... Um, which is kind of patchy when you apply it, but this one is really good. I'm really impressed um, with the quality of these eyeshadows. And then the last one is um, more um, grays, some browns, blues, and greens. And that's what it looks like. The only thing that I have a problem with this purchase is the conveniency. I don't know if that's a real word, but um, uh, taking out each of the palettes just to look for the right color. Um, if I were more familiar, I think it would be easier to pick it out, but... Um, yeah, just the time it takes to look at all the colors. I mean, because there's a number of varieties, but yeah. I also purchased two other items from Coastal Scents. Um, they are two brushes. One is the 250 brush, which is a pro blending brush. I am absolutely impressed with this. I use this to do my transition color and blend it up to my highlight, and I absolutely love this blending brush. You can never have enough blending brushes. Um, the other one I got is a small dome shaped brush which is, I don't know, it says BRC S09. Um, this is perfect for my like tiny eyelids to be getting into the crease and defining my um, crease and yeah it's amazing and I love it. So the next category of things that I have is um, jewelry slash hair accessories. I mentioned these in my OODTs um, in my previous videos but I thought I'd just include them into this haul. Um, I think it's crazy because I used to be a hoop person. I wore nothing but hoops but now I've moved on from that stage and I'm obsessed with studs. So um, I picked up this trio set from Charlotte Russe. It was 2 for 10. I don't know what 
other accessory I got, but um, it just has diamond studs, fake ones. Um, they have a orangey, orangey, peachy color, and then a pink color. And then I usually wear that on the second hole of my ears. And then I usually wear on the first hole um, these. Flower sets that I got from Tilly's, they were $6.99 and they come with creams, purples, peach, mint, light pink, and gray. And I love these. I usually, this is what I wear on an everyday basis, these two um, earrings, I guess. And yeah. And also from Tilly's, oh, um, it was a think. And also from Tilly's, I got this um, sock bun for work. I know. I, I don't know, I get these, I get these items after they're like way out of style or whatever, but um, yeah, this is, works so perfect, it makes you get a perfect bun each try. I don't roll it though, just because I have layers, I just wrap my ha hair around the bun and then pin it down and it works amazing, so yeah, that's that. So that is all the accessories, makeup, products that I got. Um, now I'm moving on to clothing.